In this lesson, we'll take a look at families of polynomial functions. And in the example in this page, there's three parabolas drawn here. And they all have a, an x-intercept of negative 5 and an x-intercept of positive 1. And for that reason, they're all said to be members of the same family because they have identical intercepts. And so since negative 5 is an intercept, if we write the equation in intercept or factored form, it'll be y equals a x plus 5. Remember, it's x minus the intercept. x minus negative 5 is x plus 5. And 1 is the uh, other intercept, so x minus 1 is the other factor. So this is the intercept form for any uh, member of this family. And so the x-intercepts are at uh, 1 and negative 5. The axis symmetry is the same axis symmetry as this vertical line here, which goes through uh, the x-axis at negative 2. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. Now an equation for one particular member of this family, for example the black curve, this is the general equation, so we need to find a point on the curve. And you can use any point you want. Uh, for example, negative 2, negative 4 is a point on this curve. It's the vertex. And so what I'm going to do is take this equation here, and I'm going to substitute negative 4 in place of y, and negative 2 in place of x here and here. And then I can solve this equation for a, where really what you have to find is the stretch factor, which is what a is. And once you know that, then you can state the specific equation for any one of these curves. And so, uh, what's in this bracket, negative 2 and 5 add to 3. And negative 2 and negative 1 add to a negative 3. So we actually have negative 9a here. So negative 4 equals negative 9a. And then we can divide both sides by negative 9. So a would be negative 4 over negative 9, which reduces to 4 ninths. So that's the stretch factor for this particular curve. And so we would rewrite the equation with the 4 ninths in place of a. And then that's the equation of an equation for this specific curve. Flipping over to the example on page 2 here, we have three different cubic shape functions drawn here, and all of their intercepts are at negative 2, 0, and 2 for all three of the curves. And so they would all belong to the same cubic family. Now in A, we're asked to write an equation for this family of cubic polynomials. So an equation for this family would be A or K or whatever you want to use as your stretch factor. X is one of the factors because 0 is a 0 for this particular polynomial. Remember it always goes X minus the particular 0. So X minus 0 is just X. Since negative 2 is a 0 for or a root for this particular cubic, x minus negative 2 is uh, going to be the x plus 2 factor. And since positive 2 is another 0, x minus 2 is the third and final factor. So that's an equation for any one of the cubic functions in this family. And in B here, we're going to determine an equation for the black curve. So we need to illustrate a point on this curve. And an example of a point in that curve is negative 1, 4. So we use the negative 1, 4 point. You could use almost any point in that curve. When I say almost any point, you actually couldn't use the intercepts. And I'll show you why here as we start to solve for a here. So there's our point, negative 1, 4. So I'm going to put 4 in place of y and negative 1 in place of x here or here. And also there as well. Now, if instead of using the negative 1, 4 point, if I had used, for example, this point here, which is the point negative 2, 0, the um, negative 2 is the x coordinate. If I put negative 2 in here for x, and it really only matters about this particular factor, um, negative 2 plus 2 would be 0. So since that's 0, the entire right side would become 0, and we couldn't solve for a. So that's why we wouldn't use one of the intercepts. Any one of the intercepts will make one of these factors 0, so then you can't solve for a. So choose a point that's not on the x-axis. Now, solving for a here, uh, negative 1 plus 2, of course, is 1. And negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Now, negative 1, 1, and negative 3 multiply to 3. So we get 4 equals 3a. And then dividing both sides by 3, we get 4 thirds for our a value, which is also the vertical stretch. So substituting 4 thirds in place of a here, we get an equation for the black curve would be y equals 4 thirds x. Notice we put 4 thirds there, x, x plus 2, x minus 2. So that's an equation for that black curve. Flipping over to example number 3, 